Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. In this video, I want to show you how to find and correct duplicate income in QuickBooks Online. Let's go ahead and just pretend that we are reviewing our QuickBooks. Okay, so we know that there'll be duplicate income, but let's talk about how we would discover this if we didn't already know it. One of the ways that people discover it is that they go to reconcile their bank account. They find stuff that's unreconciled, but it doesn't make any sense. Other ways that people discover it is that their income is too high or too much on the profit and loss. Let's use the second example to set up our example. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to reports on the left hand side of my screen. I'm then going to select my profit and loss. I have my profit and loss for January through May. I'm just going to look at it on a monthly basis, run reports. And let's imagine that we've looked at January. There's no income. We looked at February. We looked at March. And now together, we're going to look at April. So we're looking at April and we're just looking to see, did we double anything up? And then suddenly we discover we have two entries for Ann Smith where we were consulting on jokes. Just to be really clear, you should not consult with me on jokes, but I do enjoy some humor in my videos. So in this example, I've got two entries. I have one invoice and one deposit. Well, if the invoice gets marked as paid, that means that I have two entries in my bank account where I'm saying that I've received $431 and that $431 went into my bank. If I really received this money, I've only received it once. I definitely did not receive it twice. So remember what I said before, you might discover it when you go to reconcile and you see extra money that just never gets reconciled. It's because at some point it was a duplicate. Here, when I look at my profit and loss, it's an extra $400. If I'm going to have an extra $400, I will want to have earned it, not recorded it twice by mistake. So what you want to do to fix it is you want to say, okay, um, I've got my deposit. That's totally great. And I have my invoice and that's totally great. I just need to get rid of one or the other. So my deposit, if I click on the line with the deposit, if the deposit is the entry that I would like to delete, all I have to do is go to the bottom of my screen, select more, and then select delete. And that will delete my deposit. Let me click cancel. If my invoice is what I want to delete, I need to select my invoice. I need to look at my invoice and see if it's marked as paid. If you need to delete the invoice, you also will need to delete the payment. So let's go to the payment first. Click on the payment, click on the date. To delete this payment, I'll click on more at the bottom of my screen and I'll choose delete. I'm gonna click cancel because I don't wanna delete it. To delete my invoice, I'll click on more and then I'll click on delete. Typically, unless you have double entered the invoice, you don't want to delete your invoice. Let's pretend that the invoice payment is what is sitting there unreconciled on your bank account. And so you kind of want to take your invoice payment and take your deposit and squish them together into one thing. I want to show you how to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my invoice, which is where I'm at. I'm going to go to the payment in the upper right hand corner. I'm going to click on the date. When I'm at the receive payment screen, I see that it's depositing to my checking account, but so was the deposit. So in order to, to take these two things and combine them into one, I just need to change my deposit to from checking to say undeposited funds. Your account might say undeposited funds or it might say payments to deposit. Into it is kind of A B testing these to see which one might be easier for people. What you'll do from here is you'll select save and close. It says it's been linked. Yeah, yeah, that's totally fine. I'll say yes. So now what I want to do is I want to go to my deposit. I know the second one on my list is deposit because I can see that on the left hand side of my screen. I'm going to select my deposit. I'm then going to say, well, gosh, QuickBooks, I have one deposit of 431 that went to the bank and that deposit I want it linked up to my invoice. So I'm going to select the checkbox to the left of my client name where the type says payment. When the type says payment, that means this is a payment for an invoice. 
To verify that, you can click on the name. Now what I've done is I've told QuickBooks that I'm depositing $800, which isn't true. I just need to go down to this extra section on the bottom where I am posting an additional 431 to income. And I need to use the little trash can on the right hand side of the screen. I'm now deleting that. The only entry being posted to income is my invoice. And I'm just linking the payment with the deposit that went into the bank. I'm going to choose save and close. Now when I look at my profit and loss detail report, I only have one single entry of $431. If you want to learn more about how to double check yourself within QuickBooks, please go to courses.gentlefrog.com. If you have any questions or if there's anything that I can do for you, please don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. Thank you so much and have a great day.